Hello, and welcome to the SAGES virtual conference. My name is Bruce Forsyth. I'm a senior fellow in interventional oncology at Boston Scientific. I'll be speaking today on electrochemotherapy using energy to change cancer surgery. And I am honored of the invitation to be here today. Uh, I have nothing to disclose. I've been with Boston Scientific over 17 years. Electroporation is the permeabilization of cell membranes in order to increase the local transfer of chemicals, drugs, or DNA into the cell. It has been historically used for DNA transfection of genetic material, and it applies an electrical field in the form of short electrical pulses. This causes small metastable nanopores to form in the cell's lipid bilayer as seen and represented by this three-dimensional computer simulation, the electrical pulses help weaken the membrane around the cell and allow a hydrophilic core to assemble that's transient in nature, but it can exchange material both from within the cell and from outside the cell. Electrochemotherapy is a subset of electroporation, as shown here by the graph in the reversible electroporation zone. This is ideal for drug delivery as short microsecond pulses can be applied over a field strength to, uh, to break down the transmembrane voltage temporarily and allow exchange of materials such as drugs or DNA. As field strength or pulse width increases, these zones of electroporation change into the irreversible set where the recovery of the membrane is uh, not able to be healed or uh, resealed. And then even further where the zone of thermal ingress into the cell and uh, surrounding tissue can simulate uh, radiofrequency ablation. This is well known in the art of uh, electroporation and electrochemotherapy really uh, begins to exploit this area for improved drug delivery. So how electrochemotherapy works in principle is a anti-cancer drug such as bleomycin or cisplatin is applied systemically uh, to the body and as the bolus of drug um, reaches a saturation around the cell or tissue area, an electrical field strength is applied, again, to affect the transmembrane voltage and improve the permeability to the surrounding extracellular uh, material. This allows the drug to exert a more effective cytotoxicity into the cell and then allows the cell to reach a higher concentration over time. The membrane can reseal, but the damage has been done as the cell has already uh, improved, uh, increased its uptake to the surrounding drug. So electrochemotherapy has many other mechanistic advantages, not only cell uptake where applied field strength can improve drug transfer, but it also allows other drug materials uh, that would otherwise be diffusion limited to uh, increase their uh, uptake efficiency. The other notable mechanistic advantage to electrochemotherapy is that tumor vasculature is disrupted. This vasoconstrictive response can increase the likelihood that there is longer, more dur uh, durable exposure to the cytotoxic agent and that blood washing effect of that drug is minimized or delayed. The other facet of electrochemotherapy that has increased in a um, lot of research circles in the past few years is the immune stimulation that occurs from this modality. The cell death uh, is enhanced and there is a release of damage associated molecular patterns which increase a local priming mechanism and can spur on the immune system to recognize the tumor and uh, apply its uh, immune modulating and immune response effectors to increase cell death locally as well as systemically. 
So generally speaking, the rate limiting step, step of chemotherapy drugs tends to be uh, diffusion through the cell membrane. Electrochemotherapy can assist in this transport by increasing the likelihood that drugs can penetrate more readily through the weakened transmembrane pores that occur. Once inside the cell, lysol, the, the uh, cell can also be activated and there are uh, increased killing processes that occur. The other main advantage of local electrochemotherapy is in the microenvironment. And these uh, tools that are available to the clinician can overcome oftentimes the dense stroma that occurs, for instance, in pancreatic cancer by applying local delivery. So as transportation is considered a advantage of electrochemotherapy, as we look at mo molecules that could benefit from local application or intertumoral injection, while bleomycin uh, is on a larger uh, band of molecular volume, uh, there are peptides and other immunotherapy drugs that are becoming more common in the field of cancer treatment. These macrocyclic pipe peptides uh, can also be limited in their permeability uh, so that, such that electrochemotherapy can aid uh, in that transfer. We studied uh, a variety of drugs as well and looked at in vitro studies using, for example, uh, bladder cancer cell lines as a surrogate model. Looking at the IC50 of bleomycin oven by itself, there appears to be over a 50-fold improvement in that IC50 with the addition of electroporated processing parameters. Here in the graph, you will see that there is a one micromolar concentration with sufficient uh, damage to the cellular uh, contents, as well as a, uh, in this case, a spheroid, a tumor spheroid condition, such that there were no attached cells in either the combination group uh, studied in, this con in these conditions. This shows very good promise to uh, drive local administration at much lower concentrations, thereby limiting systemic toxicity uh, of this compound. We looked at this closer over a wider range of micromolar to nanomolar concentrations in the T24 cell line. Bleomycin normally is closer to a 50 uh, micromolar IC50, and in this case, Again, we saw a dramatic advantage with the addition of electrochemotherapy. These conditions were applied uh, in a very uh, controlled environment, but at the same time, we have been developing a wide variety of prototypes to help assist this process in in vivo studies, as well as hopefully clinical translation. As I mentioned earlier, there is a huge advent of new research in the processing, uh, processing of electrochemotherapy with immune checkpoint inhibitors. This study was done looking at murine uh, models uh, using a inoculation in the hind limb of mice. We used a TRAMP model, which is a prostate model, to specifically look at antigen release and CD8 T cells, which would have a specific signature to that antigen profile. Here again, the uh, synergy of irreversible electroporation settings with an anti CTLA4 showed very promising results in not only primary tumor size reduction, but uh, over time, over 21 days, those mice were tumor free, uh, suggesting a, again, synergistic of advantage to using IRE with a checkpoint therapy that uh, shows better outcomes than either uh, material alone. In taking that a step further, we looked at these mice in a secondary tumor challenge. And the promising feature here again is the release of antigens 
the proliferation of a specific T cell signature suggests that not only is the treatment durable, but there are memory T cells that re reside in organs, peripheral organs and blood to prevent the reoccurrence of the cancer, in this case, bladder cancer. Again, very promising results in an in vivo study, uh, soon to be published and looking forward to continuing this work. The European standard operating procedures of ECT have really been maturing since about 2008. The first clinical application of electrochemotherapy was done in the early 90s. And so over time, a series of guidelines have been developed to really improve the standard uh, electrochemotherapy process with new tools. And these tools are important to get in the hands of surgeons so that percutaneous, laparoscopic, and other deep-seated tumors can be accessed sufficiently uh, and used in a controlled way to build clinical registries uh, of randomized studies. The advent of combinational strategies are also important as new molecules and new therapies from the pharmaceutical world can begin to be combined in a very important way using better tools uh, at the surgeon's disposal. And those tools can include uh, a wide variety of um, materials uh, and processes to reach uh, endoscopic electroporation using variable electrogeometry such as long needles to help augment uh, earlier standard ECT with fixed needles on superficial process, uh, uh, superficial tumors. Here's an example of some of those laparoscopic tools, and the surgeon will be able to have those in a very efficient uh, way to target and visualize the electrochemotherapy process such that the ablative volume is well controlled and yet uh, is potentially coupled with an intertumoral delivery to even maximize the cytotoxic nature locally. These tools uh, continue to be developed and at Boston Scientific and our history of medical devices, we are looking at better, less invasive ways to reach luminal targets as well as other deep-seated tumors. There are pioneering studies in the lung and the brain uh, to help uh, improve the blood-brain barrier uh, reach as well as combinations strategies, strategies to help um, support a, build, a build better clinical targeting of these tumors. Electrochemotherapy treatment historically uh, was done on superficial tumors, and this is another example of how ECT with, in this case, intertumoral bleomycin was compared to surgery over a five-year period. Very promising results are demonstrated here, looking at a single treatment uh, against uh, a retreatment with over 100%, with reoccurring lesions, 100% successfully controlled. This suggests that those patients who had, would have poor tolerability and have um, potentially uh, comorbidities could have the benefit of ECT with very low side effects and chemotherapy dose that could be controlled and optimized at the point of care with intertumoral injection. Electrochemotherapy is expanding in a wide variety of clinical trials. These multi-center publications uh, over the last five to six years suggest that there is a broader approach to how to treat cancer in a wide variety of anatomical locations. This allows the surgeon and other interventionalists to reach cancers either through endoscopic or laparoscopic or percutaneous means. Here is our examples in rectal cancer, which has reached a phase two, pancreatic cancer, and cancers of the head and neck. These show promise on how to treat cancers and, and potentially have much better outcomes than um, conventional techniques today. As we talked about earlier with systemic immunotherapy, there are clinical studies building 
using new novel agents in the combination of medical device. And in these processes, we hope to play an important role and continue to work toward serving our patients and serving our physicians. Back nearly 10 years ago, the International Network for Sharing Practices of Electrochemotherapy was formed, and this consortium network called INSPECT allows physicians and other researchers to begin to pool their clinical results, have open discussions of the advent of new therapies, and begin to discuss how to use chemotherapy to serve patients in the future. In summary, electrochemotherapy offers a wide variety of advantages, including the ease of administration with tools that are available. Patient tolerability is important, especially on those that are being recurrent or have already had uh, their disease treated uh, earlier. Efficacy across histotypes has been demonstrated, and there is a repeatability that makes it reliable for controlling tumor growth locally. This has shown to have durable response in a variety of studies and reduces the morbidity from other uh, interventions. The consolidated indications are beginning to expand. This includes melanoma, breast cancer, pancreatic cancer, skin cancers, and other sarcomas. In uh, oral cancers, this shows improved symptom control as well and tolerability by the patient. We look forward to being involved in future repeatability and integration clinical studies, uh, building that clinical subset, including uh, future immunotherapies, which have suggested in in vivo studies, very durable response with memory and sustained tumor control. I would like to thank you and thank the organizers of SAGES for this opportunity.